What we're going to do in this video is show you how to add items from the point of sale into Square Online. So that's if the item's already in the point of sale but isn't in Square Online yet. We're going to go to our online dashboard and then we're going to go to items, site items, and then we're going to see the list of items that is already in the system or rather in Square Online. And then up in the top right, we have two options. We have create new item, which of course creates a new item. And then we have add from item library. So item library always refers to the point of sale items. That's the items that are in the point of sale. It's called the item library. So whenever we see item library, that's what it's referring to. So what this means is we're adding from the item library. So from the point of sale item library. So we're going to click on this. Now we see all of our items that are in the item library already. And then we're going to select our items that we want to add. There's a couple of items here at the top. We want to add these items that are created on 316. So we can see various information about them already. We can see the stock, the date it was created, the price, what locations are available at and of course the item name and on here we can sort it differently so by default it's sorted by the date it's created most recent at the top which makes sense because most of the time you'll be coming in here after you've added an item recently to the point of sale so we sort it by date newest at the top and then we can see the items that were recently added and easily add them but if you want to sort them differently alphabetically or by the amount of stock or price anything else or maybe the oldest items you can do that just by clicking you just click on here and you can click on it once and it'll sort it descending and then you can also sort it ascending or rather this is ascending descending uh, I'm getting confused but you can sort them ascending or descending by clicking on it and then clicking again and switching it around there so we're just going to go ahead and add these items that were created on March 16th right here. These five items. And then we will do add five items. We'll let that run for just a minute. And then and then we're taken back to the item library in Square Online. And we can see these new items. We have these t-shirts, the jig, everything, we have all those items. And then what we can do is we can select those items again and we can set them to available. We can select those five items. I believe I'm selecting five items here, yes. And we can do bulk edit. And then we can set fulfillment, shipping, pickup, set fulfillment, and let that run. And then we can select them again and make another update and set those items to available. So we'll do update visibility under bulk edit and set them to visible. Apply to five items and that'll apply it. The next thing we want to do is add these items to categories. So what we'll do is go over to site categories add category and we'll create a category called merch and then we can actually choose our items from this fit this view we can go to choose items and then it'll choose it'll sort them by date again just like when we're selecting them to add to square online we can select to choose them here or I'll also show you I'll just click down here I'll show you over in the site items as well what we can do is select them and then bulk edit them. So we can select them, bulk edit, add the category, and select merch. And then click save. Now the one thing we haven't done, and we do actually need to make a couple changes here. So we do need to change item type on them to physical, not to prepared food and beverage. The default in this account 
is prepared food and beverage because Square for Restaurants is the primary point of sale system, which is fine. But when we go over to online, we need to make sure that we set it to physical and not to prepared food and beverage. And we can change the default as well. So before the next time we import, we'll change the default. But if you need to change it, this is how you do it. You do have to go through each item and change it. And now we have all of these updates. Now if you have images set in Square, it will keep the images when you import them, but these items just don't have images yet, which we can upload them now in Square Online, or of course we can upload them in the point of sale and it will synchronize. That's how we do this, and let me know if you have any questions.